YouTube Retro God back with another one. Yo, today we're taking a look at the legendary, the infamous, the notorious Jordan 6 Bordeaux. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button for your boy. You already know how we do. We're about to get it in. Throw these hoes on a turntable. Yada, yada, yada. I want to see what these are made of because everybody goes crazy over the Bordeaux. I don't know why. So anyway, without further ado, let's head to the turntable, man. Let's check these hoes out. All right, YouTube, we're back with the Bordeaux. Bordeaux, we know about the Bordeaux sevens, but do we know about the Bordeaux sixes? Well, here they are in flesh, and damn, man, Jordan sixes, Jordan sixes, one of the best silhouettes of all time, and one of the weirdest colorways of all time. Can anybody explain to me why Bordeaux are so popular? Like, I don't get it. I don't know who came up with this color blocking, but there's other stuff I would have chose before this. Let's look at this upper. Uh, first thing you see is these perforation holes and we do know that there's 3m inside of here as well as the uh, ankle bubble there one thing i gotta say is that the texture like wow wow you can definitely see that there's a raised sort of suede on here and it's definitely leaving some very nice strokes where does the bordeaux come from anyways in the bordeaux colorway i'm not sure like what does that mean what is bordeaux is it that weird maroonish burgundy i don't i don't know i don't know what is that color man straight up and the mixture of colors does that make bordeaux anyways you got a black and charcoal you got kind of like a charcoal gray color blocking here a little bit of gray on the midsole and you have a black stripe instead of the the usual colored stripe that you see on a lot of the sixes here you have a semi-translucent kind of like a dark kind of black and yellow undersole here hey hey one thing i gotta say though semi-translucent outsole i don't like those full clear outsoles man they end up looking like this anyways might as well give us a colored outsole now this outsole is semi-translucent it's gray but what you can see is the yellow they use the yellow underlay for that so it kind of gives it a cool kind of almost like a dirty yellow appearance um obviously the jordan sixes have one of the coolest um outsoles of all time at least in my opinion the first bordos i seen were the bordos sevens and that's what the Bordeaux are mainly known for. So what do you guys think about the Bordeaux 6? Do you like the 7 better or is it the 6? And we ain't even going to talk about Jordan 1 Bordeaux. Ugh. yellow jordan print on the bottom here and on the heel you got a bit of uh purple there which is pretty cool uh the bordeaux have such a strange color blocking you know you really got to choose your outfits really carefully here now the toe box is in that same gray very clean looking but also probably extremely hard to keep clean the way you want it to uh, we all know how gray and suede is hard to keep clean in the first place so you might want to spray these hoes down you know you have your bordeaux purple kind a maroon burgundy whatever the hell that color is keep hearing bordeaux this bordeaux that what is a bordeaux what's a bordeaux well it's basically bordeaux wine country man these are wine shoes these are meant to symbolize kind of like the wine culture i'm sure jordan you know what i'm saying he'd be dipping into alcohol but a quick google search uh shows you that bordeaux the hub of the farmed wine growing region is a part of the a city in southwestern france it's also known for its gothic cathedrals from 18th to 19th century mansions yada yada but it's basically a wine growing region of france yellow orange is jordan lace lock here semi-translucent tongue here with the bordeaux uh pattern actually behind it so this is where the bordeaux actually comes in i mean you can't really see it as easily on this as on the sevens but man look at that cool colors on the insole you got your shoe tree there of course and you have a bordeaux print i'm definitely going to take the outsoles i'm definitely going to take the insoles out there so you guys can see okay so here we have the insoles for the bordeaux and man like look at that print you know it's very similar to those crazy prints that jordan used to wear back in the day and you know just the design and the color and patchwork here is amazing now i do got to say one thing these shoes man these sixes come super laced super tight these shoes are 
are really super pinched when you first you know get these i had to undo the lace lock rip them apart to even get these out but these weren't even glued in they came out and i gotta say man they're so soft it's almost like they didn't use any glue or anything but the the feeling of these insoles i don't know they're super soft and a little very springy and they once again they came with no glue they literally just slid right out of the shoe but these i feel like these are some premium insoles i don't know why but i just feel like these are really soft and they they are they're surprisingly springy i can't lie those insoles felt real nice they came right out the shoe it was almost no glue which was strange but i like the way they felt anyways and these feel premium um it definitely feels very suede and very supple it has a very nice soft uh feel to it and it's just more premium feeling than the other sixes the other dura buck or whatever you're getting on the other sixes now obviously these are functional we all know about the jordan six these came from you know his his first uh championship i gotta say i gotta say the craftsmanship the quality not bad not bad at all man got some buttery silky smooth materials on this make sure you guys pick these up if you can because i have a feeling these are going up in price let's take a look at the back we have a gray midsole here on the back with the jordan brand um branding here uh, and obviously i wish they put the nike but you can't have it all you know you have a kind of a fabric inner liner here and it's not neoprene as i wished but you know it just well, you can't get it all man you can't get it all in these shoes you have this purple burgundy whatever the hell that color is again and you have uh the green porsche spoiler um uh, details there now i wish they kind of put that maybe in the yellow to make it pop a little bit more but it definitely helps to mute the colors of the shoes now these shoes are super similar to the jordan 6 paris joints that dropped uh which one do you guys like better the bordeaux or those paris ones that dropped because they're super similar and you know nike and jordan be dropping shoes that just slightly change up the colorways but at least with this you get an extra pair of laces though you know sixes are one of my favorite silhouettes and you know it's just it's a favorite amongst most jordan fans i always felt that the six was the first shoe that actually looks like a sporty basketball shoe like how a basketball shoe should look all the shoes before this the fives the fours they all you know with the exception of maybe the five they don't look so sporty and obviously um these are it now i'm really happy with the materials here as you can see obviously man that synthetic suede is so nice very short haired but very supple at the same time and the, even the gray here has a it's a very nice um feeling texture now uh, it's more it's more akin to like a soft durabuck I, I gotta say that this whole shoe is very soft you know you have your uh visible air unit in the heel here obviously and a milky translucent sole um you know this is basically um yeah it's not too much tech but you know what it's from the 90s and we all love it anyways now we do have 3m i'll be showing you guys the 3m underlay in uh the on foot segment these shoes also come with an extra pair of laces which is always pretty cool i love getting extras with these shoes because you know they cost so much but anyways you know you got your neoprene tongue and i've dissected the jordan 6 in my infrared video so if you guys are more curious about what comes inside the jordan 6 make sure you guys check that video out all right guys so that's the jordan bordeaux 6 we're gonna head over and do an on foot so you guys can see what these look like uh yeah man these are super cool let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section um you know they flew off the shelf pretty quick but then they restocked and i was able to get a nine and a half for you guys to review without further ado we're about to head to the on foot to make sure that you guys see what these look like pond foot before you go spend your hard-earned bread anyways let me know what you guys think of these in the comments section did you guys cop the bordeaux are jordan sixes your thing because they're kind of my thing still so make sure you guys <clears throat> hit that like and subscribe hit that like and subscribe button for your boy uh helps me out in the algorithms you already know and let me know what you guys think of these bordeaux because the colorway is kind of it's it's growing on me still it's growing on me what do you guys think make sure you guys hit me up we'll be back with more reviews it's a legacy shoe fam if you guys got fit ideas let me know in the comment section too retro guide out i will see you guys on the next episode happy new year to all my uh viewers and you know happy holidays man it's been a minute still man's had to take a break you know what i mean Perfect.